What's up? So I think React is here to stay. Let's talk about that. That React has conquered the web. So currently, we're seeing a ton of new like libraries and frameworks for building user interfaces appear, right? You have Solid, you have Quick, you have, um, of course, Vue and Svelte and the other alternatives. And um, it's great. It's a, it's a hot space right now. And people have been asking me what I think about React. Is it going to stay? Is it going to, you know, is it going to become obsolete? Um, I think React is unbeatable. Um, and I think that for these reasons, number one, it's the ecosystem. Like React has a bunch of frameworks from Next.js to Remix to even Facebook has some some stuff that they offer, I think. Um, and, and you look at the ecosystem of React Router, of, um, you know, React Tanstack Query and all these things and you go like, okay, um, there's pretty much, I can NPM install anything to do anything in the React ecosystem. And that's a huge draw, right? Or how about this? How about number two, adoption. Um, React is just, look at any adoption curve. React is either the most adopted or competitively adopted, depending on where you look. I think Laurie Voss said it really well um, at the last JSConf event. He said React has, I think he said React has conquered um, the UI or something like this. I'll, I'll leave a link um, to that up here in one of the corners. It's the adoption story. And number three is the job market. Like React jobs are in demand. What does that mean? That means people are going to learn React, people are gonna use React because there's way more React jobs based on many curves um, than, you know, Svelte or Vue or Angular jobs. Uh, so I think, I think, look, React is really here to say why, because what incentive do I have to make like, Svelte my full-time thing. Now, I need to be clear, I'm not trash-talking Svelte, right? Svelte is awesome. In fact, objectively, Svelte is faster and better than React in some ways. Um, but is it enough to make me switch? I don't think so. Objectively, Quick is lighter and faster than React. I did a whole video about it. I'll put a link up there. Is it enough to make me switch? No, because the biggest benefit of these things is milliseconds, uh, is performance. And, and, and what, for the performance, I've got to learn like new semantics. I've got to, in the case of Svelte Review, I have to learn like new syntax. Um, Solid uses signals similar to React's use state, but not quite the same. And so there's also a learning. Do I want to put myself through, do companies want to put their people through that? Um, for milliseconds. And yes, sometimes milliseconds matter, but especially now with React server components and, and the React team themselves working on milliseconds, I'm not sure that's enough. In fact, I love what Nader Dabit said. He said, um, I will keep using React until something 10 times better shows up. And today, that doesn't exist. I love that. I do, however, feel that React is currently at a critical turning point. It's at a turning point because the the introduction of server components has introduced quite a breaking change. The the new use client directive, the use hook, like these things are big changes. And I've heard a lot of people criticize these features. For example, in Next.js 13, not knowing where to use client or having to change the way they think about components. Is this a server component? Is there's more overhead now? It kind of sort of feels in a small way like the jump from Angular 1 to Angular 2. And I feel like if React handles this well, awesome. But I feel like there's, I feel a certain tension here where this can cause things to crumble a little bit. And then people start thinking, oh, where, where's, where's it simpler? Ah, quick, it's like React, but, but not. And it's faster. Ooh. So I don't know, I feel like this is a pivotal moment, um, but generally I believe React is here to stay. I believe React is unbeatable. And I will, at this point in time, always bet on React. But those are just my thoughts. What do you think? Um, have you switched? Do you want to switch for milliseconds? Is it worth it? Um, let me know in the comments or at me on Twitter. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.